your valuable remarks. Now, I consider it a great honor to welcome Mohammed Mohsin Khan Lagari, the Minister for Irrigation, Punjab, Pakistan, uh, inter, uh, for, uh, for opening speech of today's conference. He has been a strong advocate for uh, water issues and trying to raise awareness of, uh, for the imminent water crisis that Pakistan is facing right now. And he has presented Pakistan as uh, at World Water Forum as well as the 2016 uh, United Nations Climate Change Forum. Please, sir. Please, sir, unmute your mic. Can you can you hear me now? Yes, sir. Thank you very much for inviting me uh, to this uh, wonderful conference, and I'm looking forward to a very learning experience, uh, interacting with people who are uh, leaders in their fields is always a learning experience, and I would like to appreciate uh, Dr. Noor Muhammad Saab and the Center of Excellence in Water Resource Engineering at UET Lahore for organizing this uh, event, where uh, the conference themes was also one of those things that really attracted me. All of those, these things like the sustainable management and planning of water resources, the transboundary water management, environmental impact, uh, rainwater uh, management, erosion and sedimentation transport, groundwater, all of those, these things are very important for us. And unfortunately, we've not been paying much attention to this. Another thing that I would have uh, liked to have seen in this or done some research on this is we're talking about the uh, transboundary water management, uh, the, the, the pro problem that the provinces have in our water sharing is also one of those things that, that needs to be looked at dispassionately based on facts and numbers and coming up with a solution where uh, our provinces can live with it. Because every day we see this, uh, uh, for lack of a better word, this hostility expressed from one province towards the other in issues which are in a way which is harming the national harmony so uh, i would i would uh, the, i would request the research use this platform to request the researchers to maybe uh, look into this and come up with a solution which will be acceptable to all uh, there's a political angle to it and there's also a technical angle to it once uh, with the help of the professionals we have the professional and the technical data with us then we, the politicians, can sit down across table and uh, resolve uh, those issues also based on facts and numbers rather than emotions. Uh, this this conference on uh, sustainable water resource management should be our uh, step forward into making our water management uh, policies uh, better in tune with the realities on ground. Water management has not been our prime focus for a very long time. Water resource management, water resource development, water resources planning, they have not had the priority that they should have had, despite uh, our, our, uh, our verbal commitments to making it our, our top priority and, and uh, assigning resources to it. Unfortunately, we've not quite been able to do it practically in effect. Uh, traditionally, we have the approach of the water sector management through top-down management mo models, which never look into account of the cross-cutting themes in water resource ma management. Nor did we consider the hydrology of uh, watershed or basin as an eco ecosystem where competing demands on the available water in the system always affects each other drastically. With a growing population, our demand for water is growing. All sectors, uh, the, the irrigation sector, which is the largest user of water, their demand is growing. The industrial sector, their demand is growing. Uh, the the, the uh, public, uh, I mean, the water consumption, the, the, the cities, they require more water. And uh, we've not quite been able to uh, do this. Our water management system in this part of the world was started with the with the British Raj, where they came in and, and built on a, a magnificent irrigation system, was laid 
But sadly, over the years, the water resource man management did not evolve into a more integrated one. We had this canal system, and that is all that we concentrated in for a very long time. Then the Indus Water Treaty came in, and then we started making uh, uh, the, the, the link canals, and our dams were built. But still, we did not have an integrated system where everything was taken into account. Uh, the building of the dams have had their own ecological impact. Diversion of waters from one river to the other. Then we've had these uh, long, dry reaches in the rivers. Satluj and Ravi rivers have died off. The river Jhelum has a very long, I think, rasul downwards till about uh, Trimu, where Tashma Jhelum link canals comes in and feeds it. That part has... Uh, the, 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 there's a whole system, there's a whole life, there's a whole um, culture which revolves around rivers. And when these rivers die, a little bit of everything dies. So we've not really had a, a very uh, all-encompassing approach towards our water management and a development of our water sector. Looking forward to uh, the, these conferences, and and I'm I'm really going to be very anxiously uh, taking notes on what is being presented here. And hopefully I will uh, be able to have some impact on uh, on the decision makers. You will think that decision maker is you, but it doesn't quite work that way. Decision making is a, a collective process where you have to take a lot of people on board. And this is not, it's not just one person who says something and it goes around. I keep lobbying for it. Uh, I'm, I'm I'm a very active member uh, who has been in the subject has been of my passion for a very long time. Uh, I spend some time reading on the subject also, and I keep trying uh, to make things a little better. Uh, as, as a minister, I think my responsibility is not to get involved in the administrative matters, but rather than the big picture, whereby I, maybe I can guide my department towards uh, a better uh, water manager, uh, water a resource manager rather, with an integrated approach to all these things. And I thank you very much once again for uh, giving me this opportunity to be here to learn. Uh, I am here as a student learning from professionals whose field it is, and they've done research on their papers. And I'll be, uh, I'll be very anxiously listening to all of you. Thank you very much. Thank you so much, sir, for your influential message. Now all the guests, keynote speakers, authors, and participants are requested to turn on their cameras for photograph. <laughs>